Hey we are guys, welcome to a Jin laning guide 1v2 all within vastly different skill set support, just in tank support. So a little bit of the matchup. So Jin Pike is actually a pretty good lane. Because you have a lot of kill kill potential, because when Jin when Pike pulls something, Jin can follow up with the root, or and then Pike can get the stun. Fourth crit from Jin. It's it's a very it's a very aggressive lane. Meanwhile, MF Shen also has pretty good kill potential. MF's double tap, or not double tap, her love tap. Does a good bit of damage, especially with Shen taunt. Shen does good damage on his own. A little bit more defensive because of Shen's W, but here we definitely don't want to be trading early on because MF has her passive and Shen has a taunt. So it's a little bit more dangerous for us to sort of trade with them. But Pike's going... Very aggressive, level one. That's not really when Jin wants to fight. Jin wants to fight level two because of his W, but it ends up working out because we, we were able to hit them with a few crits. That's how you want to trade in lane early with Jin, especially against an MF. MF is stronger earlier because of her love tap. So she just does extra damage. The only way you can really trade against her is if you use your fourth shot, maybe a grenade. The grenade doesn't do much early on and shouldn't to farm but yeah so now we're coming back to lane it's not really the best start because we yeah, have we got first blood but mf has two kills and she's a higher level and has a little bit more fun fortunately though she stays so we get to make use of our sort of we were able to get the first buy so we're technically stronger than her except for maybe the level differential you see here we bought a a, a Doran's blade, so we can actually try and take these fights, especially because she's you know half health. So, Jin at her, this pike actually goes in. We're a little bit far. When you're with your support and the support wants to go, and you generally want to be parallel. Let's say pike is here, you want to be here. So that's so like this. It's not really the best. It's, MF can actually trade with him, and we're not in range to sort of help. Jin sort of offsets that with his W. That's another thing. When you're trading with Jin, one thing you can do is your grenade actually has the same range as your auto. So what, as soon as you auto, you can just hit grenade two for a little bit of uh, extra damage, like right there. If that was a trade, you'd want to auto grenade and then get out of get out of dodge kind of thing. So. Here we're just pushing up. We don't want to... Uh, we saw the Shivana top lane, so we don't really need to worry about her, but the Viger's missing. We need to ward that a bit. Normally I'd go back here, except for the fact that the wave isn't pushed up to an optimal position. When you're going back, you want to see if you can, if you can push the wave up to the tower. That way this entire wave just dies to the tower and MF can't... Um, your opponent can't get this gold. So here we're able to, it's a little unoptimal because they were there and we're going to be a little late to coming back. But we go back anyways. Here we see as we're coming back to lane, Pike's still level 2 unfortunately, so is their Shen. But our Pike decides to leave. This is essentially where the 1v2 starts happening. Um, Pike leaves and decides to go to mid, which is a decent choice because I wasn't in lane and he can't really do anything without us. So I thought he was just going to go gank mid, help mid out. You see Shivana along the way and just decide waste a lot of time walking back and forth. Here we see it doesn't really work out. And yeah, so I guess this made the, uh, the pike not happy. We can tell by the, all the ping and stuff. So after that, I, he's just going to go to mid, start start throwing himself at the Viger, start taking farm, stuff like that. The one thing I would like to point out here is Jin is very bad at farming under tower, but he's good at trading with the enemy under tower. Because you can auto and you can hit with your W under tower, and it roots them in place so they can't actually fight back. So they have to run away, you get some free damage, maybe a crit. But here we messed up. Because of Jin's short range, you definitely don't want to step up into the uh, into the 
into the into the wave, especially when you're one v two. And when you're one v twoing, you're playing safe. It, there's there's no real pressure for killing. You essentially have to play safe and look for an opportunity. Here's one of those op Here's one of that what I was just describing about the the under tower part. So if you hit the W under tower, then you can get a pretty good amount of a pretty good amount of free poke, and the grenade can sometimes take care of the farming for you. So here once again, this is an example of that sort of anti-parallelism. Now we're parallel. Now they can't trade with us. But before, when it was like this, a line, they can trade with us. We see he's still level three. He's a level behind Shen. He is just needlessly aggressive. Going in one, basically one v two there. We took some poke from MF, and now we're very low. The only way we really get through this is if we have a fourth shot. And we we were a little bit... We tried to help him. We don't realize he's inting just yet. Or he's not really trying very hard just yet. So we tried to help. Didn't work. We died. Now I think we're two and two. Yeah. Two and two. We get another back. We're still behind in level and um, CS. So now this MF is very strong. We definitely don't want to be trying to fight her unless we have a pretty good setup with our, let's say, our our fourth shot or if she decides to have no mana and stay in lane. All right, so we're back. So we see that Pike isn't coming with us. So we've noticed that now. Maybe he was ganking again, but Victor's not there, so he really has no business being there. So our best, our goal here is just to try and farm under tower. Because we saw the Lee in there and he was posturing to try and gank, we do step up a bit and try and um, keep them off the wave. That was a bit unfortunate. We could have killed them with our ult, but Lee Sin kicked them out. So one thing that's Pretty important with Jin is if there's no one in your ult, or if they you think they'll step back into it, they're close like that, it's better just to, to cancel it. You know, we could have kept it going and maybe we could have hit another shot, but then we wouldn't be able to catch up. So instead of just making that maybe play, go with the 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 certain play of being able to auto attack. So one v two lanes is you know, you can see it's, it's, you can play your best. It's mostly defensive looking for opportunities like that, waiting for your jungler. But it's all, it also depends on the enemy. If they play it correctly and they're like zoning you off and not really giving you opportunities, it's, it's kind of a losing battle. But when they play like this and sort of the lower games, it's, you just have to find a mistake and capitalize it, and Jin really excels at that because of his root. Root is, I think, root, the root's probably the best thing for Jin. I think we back here because we can get pickaxe and crit cloak. So it's a pretty big power spike when you start critting with Jin. Um, just start moving around this when you start actually dealing your damage, because both of these give us AD. We're getting a big chunk of AD there. So you. Once you get the crit cloak on Jin, you can start being a little bit more aggressive. Probably not in a 1v2 lane, but that is one of his major power spikes is when he gets crit, especially when it's Infinity Edge. So here we see we're all the way back at the tower. We see that MF is just pushing in. So we're not even gonna miss a, uh, <laughs> a minion. Here we're just looking to farm. We placed those uh, those traps there just in case we were dove. One thing you should always look for, like right here, is here. We could have autoed these, but instead we decided to queue it just in case they walked up. And that does a good bit of damage because it's already increased. Plus they can't retaliate. There we go. We, took, we found the mistake, we took advantage of it, and yeah, now Pike decides he's pretty much done beating the uh, Viger. 
He wants to start harassing us. That's fine. We can use his uh, body to sort of, you know, give us a little bit more time, a little bit more breathing room. At this point, that's all he is because he's three levels lower than us. Let's see how he's doing so far. Yeah, one in five. I was actually cued with the victor and he was very stressed about this. Go ahead and rewind that a little bit. So your crit actually does work on um, on towers, so it might be worth greeting that last little uh, that last hit on the tower if it's your fourth shot. I don't know why the camera keeps shifting. There, same thing. Instead of um, autoing, sometimes you can use the grenade to poke. That's what we did here. Just a really, another quick replay. This grenade usage is pretty key for Jin. So here, instead of autoing her, grenading her, and then shooting her, we grenaded the minion, and then the uh, then the grenade bounced to her for thirty five percent more extra damage. So did a little bit more there. It was a little bit ballsy, but I think she was hitting Pike at the time. And now we're pretty confident because we are getting we're getting kind of fed. Stuff. He's not having fun. All right, and that's the end of the laning phase. Just to recap, when you're in a 1v2, bide your time, wait patiently. They're going to make mistakes, and when they do, you need to be ready to capitalize on that. The uh, Another thing is, you're a little bit early on, you're a little bit weak early on as Jin because, you know, your grenade doesn't deal much damage, your abilities don't deal much damage yet. When you have fourth shot though, you can sort of look at, look to trade, especially because you get that movement speed. Your grenade also has the same range, so maybe throw one of those in there if you have a little bit extra mana. Besides that, I don't, that'll be that's a a quick guide on mining for Jin. Use your grenade to farm. Use your grenade to poke. Sometimes think about it like you maybe it's better to hit the minion. Go over there. Jin's very powerful when he's under tower. Try and punish them for that if they ever come up. It's really easy to set up ganks with your jungler. Because you can root them under tower, give your jungler a little bit of time to jump over this wall. There we go. I think we... I think we... Proceed to do a pretty, pretty good stuff here. So after you're done with a, just a little bit of a quick tip after, after you're done with bot lane, you want to try and extend your focus to mid as well, or top, as you want to use the fact that you are out of lane first to bring more towers down. Yeah, it's a quick guide to laning on Jin. I'll probably do a more in-depth one later, so tell me if you guys want to see that, and yeah, thank you. See you guys next time. Uh -oh. Right. I think, he, I think he dives us again. I don't know why. They did when they do stuff like this. It's just trying to fight a fed gin. It's not. It's not a good job. All right. Thank you guys. See you next time.